problem 57, page 246. Here uh, we have a 10 kilogram block. So M equals to 10. Is released from point A. So the object is released with V initial equals to O. The track is frictionless except for the portion between points B and C. So the track here, this one, uh, is frictionless. Soft or and except this portion here, we don't have mu. Okay which has a length of six meter, the distance between B and C. <clears throat> the block travels down. So here we have the block at this point. The block travels down the track, hits a spring of K equals two to 50 Newtons per meter, okay? Here we have a compression and the spring will be compressed to this point where X equals to 0 0.3, okay? Uh, the question is, determine the coefficient of kinetic friction between the block and the rough surface between B and C. We have to calculate simply mu. Let me open a new page to explain the problem clearly. Uh, now I want to explain the problem. And after I will choose the best method to solve this kind of problem. Uh, first of all, uh, here we have a mu between B and C. Uh, here we have an isolated system. When we have an isolated system, we can write the general relation delta mechanical energy equals to delta kinetic plus delta potential equals to omega F, okay? Delta mechanical, it depends the two points I can choose. If I say, uh, I take between A and B, in this case, we don't have F. We can solve the problem, we don't have F. If I say between A and, uh, before, let me say between A and B. If I say between A and B, uh, we can calculate the velocity of this block at the point B, okay? The final position will be here, and we can calculate VB, but till now we, can, we cannot calculate mu. I need to calculate mu. So between A and B, uh, I can calculate VB. Okay. Let's say now between A and C. Between A and C, you know, we have the small portion between B and C, we have mu. So between A and C, we can say delta mechanical energy plus delta potential energy, uh, delta mechanical energy equals to omega F because we have this portion where we have a friction between the block and the uh, plane. If we uh, calculate between A and C, we can find the value of VC. We do the calculation. Uh, we can say delta mechanical energy equals to omega F. We can write mechanical energy final minus mechanical energy initial equals to omega F. I'm talking between A and C. 
but be careful here. We have only F between B and C. We don't have here F. So the value of omega F will be minus F times D and D equals only to six meter. If we have here mu, you can add uh, this portion. So uh, D equals to six meter. By this relation between A and C, we can calculate VC. Okay, but in this case, we have a mu is unknown and we have VC is unknown. We have one relation with two unknowns, so we cannot take this choice. Okay. Maybe I can take the uh, system between A and D. I can choose any system between, any system. D will be the maximum where the block finally is at this point. This is the position D. Between A and D, we have a small portion, we have mu. So, we have to say delta mechanical energy equals to delta kinetic plus delta potential equals to omega F. And mechanical energy initial or final. In this case, I think it's the best solution because I don't need to calculate VB and VC. I can just take the initial system at the position A and the final system at the position C. And V, C, and V, B, I don't need to calculate its value. Okay? So uh, here I understand very well between, um, very well, the points I can take to find mu. Maybe I can ask you before, find V, B. So in this case, you can take the system between A and B. I can ask you, for example, find VC. You can take between C and D. But now I need to calculate only mu. So uh, what I do, I take between A and D. A, this is the system where the block at the position A. So we can say the initial system. We can have delta mechanical energy equals to delta kinetic plus delta potential equals to omega F. I ask between A and D, do you have a friction? Yes, we have in this portion. So here we have minus F times this distance equals to D. I don't take all the trajectory because here we don't have a mu and here we don't have a mu. Okay. Uh, here we have D. And initially here, uh, let me put it, um, delta mechanical energy equals to omega F. Uh, we can say here mechanical energy final minus mechanical energy initial equals to minus F times D. I advise you to take this relation. Don't take delta kinetic plus delta potential and you have to, you, you will get the same result, but it's Clearly, it's better to take this relation. Mechanical final and mechanical initial. Mechanical final, when the object is at this point. Mechanical initial, when the object is at this point, at the position A. Let me calculate mechanical initial. We have here kinetic initial plus potential initial. And finally, we have kinetic final 
plus potential final. Okay, equals to minus F times D. Okay. Initially, the object is at rest. So V equals to O. In this case, we don't have a kinetic energy. So we can say here, kinetic energy initial equals to O. Potential energy here in general equals to potential energy G, gravitational potential energy and potential energy E. I'm taking the initial state. Okay. This is the initial state. As you see here, the spring is at X equals to O here. So we don't have elastic potential energy. And the object here is at a height equals to three meter. So we have a potential, this one equals to M G times H initial equals to three. Let's take now the final system. Now the final system where the block is at the position D, we have a compression of the spring. And uh, here, uh, okay, a distance equals to X. We can say here, we have X compression. I have its value equals to 0 0.3 meter. This is the final position, the final system, and here we have nothing. At this position, we have no kinetic energy because at the position D, we don't have velocity. Here, position D, V of the object equal to zero. So the kinetic energy final equals to O and the potential energy final equals to the gravitational potential energy final plus elastic potential energy final. About the gravitational potential energy, as you see here at the point D, we don't have height, okay? because I choose here the x-axis. So h equals to o. Uh, h equals to o. So we can say here we have m g h equals to o plus finally we have a compression x. So we have k over two x squared. Perfect. Now we substitute the value of uh, kinetic and potential and we calculate mu. We can say kinetic final here equals to O plus potential energy final, this one equals to half kx square minus kinetic energy initial equals to O. Potential energy initial equals to mg times three equals to minus F equals to mu times N times the distance where we have friction only between B and C. So uh, D equals to six. Here we have 
all the value we have k we have x we have m g n we can calculate mu you know k equals to 2 to 50 divided by 2 times x equals to 0 0.3 square uh, minus m uh, we have the value of m equals to 10 10 times g equals to 9.8 times 3 i think it's good okay minus mu times n you know n it's easy to calculate n by newton's law by applying newton's law we have n here is up and the mg is down okay we have n and mg so equals to o because we don't have motion up and down so n equals to mg equals to 10 times 9.8 we put here n 10 times 9.8 times six we can calculate the value of mu here equals to equals to oh point three two eight okay this is the answer let me add a small question okay uh, let me say I want to calculate the uh, speed of the block at the point B, okay? When the block comes down, at the point B, we have velocity. So I need to calculate V of the block at the point B. So here, you can solve the problem as you like. You can take a system between A and B. You can calculate the uh, VB, and also you can take between B and D, and also you can calculate VB. You have, because uh, you have, uh, you, you cannot take between B and C, because we don't have the value of VC. So to calculate, I can ask you, Calculate VB and VC. To calculate VB, I can take the system AB or BD, as you like. You can choose any relation. It's uh, easy, I, I think, between A and B. So I will choose between A and B. Uh, as F equals to O between A and B, we don't have interaction between the block and the truck. So we can say we have a conservation of mechanical energy, delta mechanical equals to O. Why? Because equals to omega F equals to minus F times the displacement we don't have f so delta mechanical equals to o mechanical energy equal mechanical final minus mechan you can say mechanical final equals to mechanical initial and the kinetic final plus potential final equals to kinetic initial plus potential initial Okay, uh, let's say this is the initial state where the object is here, we have initial state. At this state, uh, we don't have velocity. So kinetic, excuse me, kinetic initial equals to O. But we have a height. So we have potential here. So we can say potential energy initial equals to mg, H, 
plus when the object is initially at this point A, we don't have a compression of the spring. So the potential will be just gravitational potential energy. And uh, we have kinetic initial equals to O. About the final state, you know, final state is when the object is at this point. Okay. This is the final state. At this point, you know, the object moves to the right. So we have V, we can say VB equals to have M VB square. At this point, we don't have height, okay? Height equals to O. So potential energy final equals to O. And you know here, when the object is at the, the position B, we don't have compression of the, of the spring. So we don't have elastic potential energy. We substitute the value here. We can kinetic final equals to mv square b divided by two plus uh, potential final equals to O equals kinetic final equals to O and potential initial equals to mg times h. From this relation, we can calculate the value of Vb, okay? Here, it's easy to calculate Vb. You can eliminate m and m. We can say Vb equals to uh, two times three, we have six times 9.8, we can say about, it will be, it will be about 60 M per second. Now I calculated VB. Let me calculate VC. You know, because the resistive force in this region, VB must be, uh, the velocity of the block at the point C must be less than its velocity at the point B because the resistance of the block. I want to calculate now uh, when the object at, is at this point, I want to calculate VC. Uh, here, you know, we have, uh, we can take between C and D. We can take between A and C as we like. Uh, let me say between A and C, okay? Between A and C, here we don't have a mu, but here we have a mu. So I need to write delta mechanical equals to omega F. Delta mechanical equals to mechanical final minus mechanical initial equals to minus F times D, D equals to six, okay? Between A and C. Uh, finally, we have kinetic final, let's say final position where the object is here. At this point, at this point, we have VC. We have have M V square C. We don't have kinetic, we don't have height. Minus. Initially, where the object is here, we don't have velocity, but we have height. Equals to minus mu mu equals to O point, uh, we calculate its value, O point three two eight times N, N equals to Mg, 10 times 9.8, 
times the distance where we have friction equals to six. So I have all the values here. Uh, we can calculate VC easily. Um, I think we get its value. Uh, okay, let me calculate the value. We get here uh, the value. Let me write the final answer. We have VC equals to 4.5 M per second. Initially at, at VB here, we have VB equals to 7.7 M per second and at VC equals to 4.5 M per second, okay? As you see here, VC will decrease. Uh, the velocity will decrease between B and C because the resistance of F. Okay, I think it's clear now how you can solve this kind of problem.